Hello everyone, it's uh, me, this guy right here, boom, John in Tucson. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy the content that I'm going to be presenting. Um, I've been uh, out of commission for a few weeks here, as a lot of you know, uh, I've been dealing with quite a bit on my plate, um, and I'll get into that after uh, we do the video for anyone that's interested in what's been going on. At any rate, um, I'm back. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm staying with my sister. I'm in her home right now uh, here in Tucson. My house is on the market and uh, will be sold here hopefully very quickly. And I will move on to the next phase of my life, which is extremely exciting, daunting, and scary all at the same time. But again, I'll get into that with you guys when I'm done watching what we're going to watch today. Morissette Amon. I have not revisited her music, excuse me again, <clears throat> in a while, and uh, it's time to do so. Uh, this is one that was requested by one of my subs or someone that stopped by the channel in the comments. This is Unchained Melody, and again, I will use the, uh, I will post, excuse me, I will post the uh, link to the video that I'm going to be using to make this reaction video for you. So, uh, if you like it, go click on it, show them some love, okay? Appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get this going here. Flip this thing over. And, uh, of course, I'm doing this without my glasses, but it's nice to be able to do this during the daytime and not in the middle of the night with all kinds of weird lights going on and stuff. All right, more set of mine. Uh, Unchained Melody, I believe this was filmed by one of her um, fans out in the audience, so let's take a look. See, that's over with. Hi, Regine. And who's that with her? <gasps> mm hmm. Martine. Good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's get off of that garbage right there. Garbage. 
Listen to me. Not garbage. There we go. It's been a while, obviously, since I've done this, so forgive me. Um, <laughs> get rid of that. Okay. Oh, let me back over here. It's taking a while to get back into the scheme of things here. Um, who was that singing with uh, Morissette on stage? I have no clue who that was. Um, for the Bob haircut, looked like it could have been uh, Katrina Velarde, but wow, that'd be an interesting thing to find out if that's true or not. If anyone knows, please leave me a comment. Let me know who uh, Morissette is singing with here because uh, I have no clue who that is. Um, yeah, excellent song. Uh, Unchained Melody back in the days when I was still actually able to sing and sound halfway decent. Unchained Melody was one of my go-to songs for singing. Because um, there's so much you can do with it. And you can put lots of drama into it and really hit those high notes and belt them out and sound great. Um, can't do it anymore, unfortunately. Too many years of acid reflux and smoking. Bad stuff. have uh, pretty much killed my voice. As you can hear, it sounds gravelly and low and nasty. and it's not, not a good singing voice anymore. But at any rate, um, yeah, what's been going on uh, in uh, my my uh, past couple of weeks here since I've been off of YouTube, for anyone that cares, um, I had to put mom, like I said, in an assisted living facility uh, where she's now living full time. Um, I had to clear out my home completely of everything, clean it. Um, I had to employ a lot of people, spend a lot of money doing it that I did not have. Um, I'd been, you know, all the plans that I'd made to try and make a smooth transition after my mother had passed away, um, I had to scramble really fast and put all of that into motion while she's still alive, um, which threw me and, uh, the speed at which I had to do it, I knew I was going to have to face that anyway, so that wasn't a big surprise, but uh, it's been a great deal of work. There's a lot of stress involved with all of the transitions here. Um, I know my mother is not happy where she's located, and I don't blame her. She's 87. She's used to living a certain way in a certain place with everything that she knows and loves being around her, and it's all different for her now, and as it is for me. Um, once the dust settles and the house sells, uh, of course, I will be moving into an RV. And let me go ahead and, if you don't mind, I can show you exactly what I'm going to be getting when I whittle this down to. Um, let's see if there's a decent sized photo of this one. Okay, this is what I'm going to be getting right here. It's called a Class A motorhome because it's a box shape, like a like a bread box. And this one is only 28 feet long, which is manageable for me. It's got two pop-out rooms on the side, which I really did not want, but all of them have that anymore, so you're kind of stuck. But it's got plenty of storage on the outside. It's got a great engine, which I know and trust. Uh, side view cameras. Good, decent tires, of course. Um... And then all the bays underneath it that are just uh, all that wiring. I have to spend so much time just rewiring everything because these things come out of the factory put together so shoddily. And I know that going in. See, this is one of the tanks. This is, I believe, the black tank. This is where your sewage collects, basically. And these are the sensors on the outside to tell you how full or, or empty it is. Those things never work, so I'll have to be changing those out. See, again... Weird components all showing there, easy to break and bust, and hydraulic leveling jacks. Nice to have, but they always screw up, so I'm not pleased about that. The only thing that really pleases me, well, here's the backup camera, and it has the side view cameras to come into, and then here's the audio system and Bluetooth and navigation and all that, which is kind of nice. That's a definite want to have and need to have anymore. The seats swivel around, both of these seats swivel around to face the back cabin, which we're looking at here. Here's the dinette area. Here's the television. I believe it's a 42-inch monitor. 
and it's on a what's called a televator. This is an elevator. This drops down into this panel right here. And then it's a solid surface on top, Corian of some kind. Um, nice to have, but again, something else to break. So I really didn't want it. Small kitchen. This is a refrigerator freezer. It works on DC power, AC power, or on propane. So that's kind of nifty. Um, now this right here, this is a sofa, as you can see. Down under here, this front lip, you lift this up, and this whole thing lays down flat. But underneath here, behind this panel here, it's all open space. And that's where my expensive battery bank is going to live, because I'm going with lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I don't have to use a generator all the time. And of course, I'll have solar panels all covering the roof. So it's going to be an interesting build. Uh, Here's the bed. That's in that one pop out towards the back of the RV on the driver's side. Of course, it's got a TV. Got to have another friggin' TV. Tiny, tiny bathroom, which is fine. As long as it works. And that's the end of that. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, go back over here. <clears throat> and there. All right, uh, so basically... Um, for you guys that have that uh, have been following me for any length of time now, um, my channel is pretty much dedicated to doing reaction videos for the most part. Let me move this down just a tad. There we go. Uh, for doing reaction videos for the most part, um, but since my life is changing so fast and so drastically, um, from living in a sticks and bricks house, if you will. Uh, to move, moving into an RV full time, as you what I just showed you, that's going to be my future home, because I I live on disability, uh, which is capped at a very very low amount. It's actually under the poverty line, what they cap it at, which is maddening, considering I worked for forty years. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm happy to have it. Um, but yeah, uh, from the sale of the house, I'll be able to purchase it outright. Have a nice nest egg. I have property that I'm purchasing down in southeastern Arizona, so I need a place to park for free forever. I will have it. Um, yeah, you do what you've got to do. It's either that or live on the street or in my car, and I'm not going either route there. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, so all of my planning is coming to bear now. Difference is I'm doing having to do it all now while my mother is still with us which is a blessing that she is still with us. Just It just changes the landscape a bit, uh, adds more stress into the situation because I'm so concerned about her frame of mind right now. Um, she's just, she's not letting go of the fact that everything has changed, you know. She's having a tough time with it. Um, I would too, in her position. So, I'm still there with her. I still visit her all the time. Um, I try and do my best to comfort her and help her out. And uh, we will be back together again, hopefully very, very soon. And uh, we'll go from there. In the meantime, guys, I'm back. I am back. And all that positivity that I've been talking about, and I always leave you a comment at the end of my videos. Guys, I have never seen anything come to fruition in such a magnificent manner as the positivity thing and having it work and seeing the actual results of it. It's, it's amazing. You have to put in the effort to get things done on your own. But if you've gone as far as you can, just know and expect those gaps will be filled in. Call it a karma repayment or an unspoken prayer answered, whatever you want to call it. There is a definite positive response that comes back out of that. It's just, and again, I'll, I'll make a video or two or five about that at some point because it's it's been amazing to watch in action. And here's living proof. You know, I've got a roof over my head now, a beautiful place to live at the moment. Mom is safe, which is terribly important to me. And uh, a future that I thought I was going to have to be living uh, all alone without my mother now she's here to enjoy it with me. So, lots of good has come out of uh, the tragedy of what's gone on the last couple of weeks. But uh, 
It's all good. It's all good. I'm very happy at this point. So guys, I'm going to render this, get it up on YouTube before YouTube decides to close me down, down my channel for inactivity. And uh, I've got nothing but time on my hands right now until the house sells, so I will be putting up more videos. So leave me your comments, guys. Let me know what you want to see in here, okay? Seriously, provide me a link if you've got it. Um, I've got the time, obviously, to hunt things down, but if you've got a specific link that you want me to uh, take a look at the video and do a reaction to, provide the link if you can, okay? I appreciate it. And as always, leave you with a positivity again. Do something kind for someone that you know or do not know today. does not matter. But first it starts with you, this person right here. Be kind to yourself first and then spread it around. See what happens. It's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. It works. I'm just telling you, it works. So, you can hear Milo playing in the background there. Milo is, of course, with me. Milo, my companion, my lovely cat. So, guys, you take care, and I will see you again very, very soon, okay? Have a good day wherever you are. Bye.